Hello everyone and welcome to this special episode of Aris and Greece Builder Nation and potentially the last ever episode in the series so don't forget to like this button and subscribe to the channel because if we win this World Cup we can finally say we finished the story with Greece and Aris. Going into the World Cup we've got a lot of players and a lot of experienced players in the Greek squad. Vasilis Barkas is retiring at the end of the World Cup. He's 36 years of age. He was part of the Euros when inside with us with 73 caps. He is the first choice goalkeeper and will be vital for us in this World Cup. Mavropanos is an Aris player. Again, he was part of the Euros winning side, come back to Greece and is now at Greek's best centre-back. Can he be vital? But he's, he's the one that's always struggled for fitness, so he could be a bit of a liability at this stage. You've still got players like Kosta, Shimikas, 34 years of age. It's an ageing Greek side, but we know what ageing Greek sides can do we did it at the euros but we do have the blend of youth in the squad themis karadras is a new gen he is an aris player he's been on loan at plymouth this season to get first team football and get ready for the world cup playing in the championship played pretty much every game for plymouth and will be vital for the national side other young players included in the squad are the panathinaikos wonder kid I'm not even going to try and say his name, Zafiratos. He's been very good for Panathinaikos. He's made a couple of appearances already for the Greek side, and he could be key in this fixture. Sayatonas is an Aris player that you've seen, and he's done very well for us. Can he bring that form to the Greek national squad? Now, in terms of the World Cup, we have been drawn in Group C with Costa Rica, Chechia, and Ivory Coast. I think it's a fairly straightforward group. We should easily qualify in the top two. Let's see now how we get on against these three difficult opponents. We kicked off the group stage with an impressive 3-0 win against the Ivory Coast. Probably our toughest opponents in this group as Katausis starts his World Cup as he ended the Euros with an unbelievable goal. But the pick of the goals in this game came from a Karadras pass into Zagaritis who found Palvidis and it was a great team goal. Next up, we absolutely battered the weakest side in this group in Costa Rica, putting four past them and the pick of the goals was from Entoy. Chechia was our last group game and winner took the group as we went on to beat them 4-1. We'd scoring goals for fun at this World Cup and that was one of the better ones in this game from Sayatonis from a Sortirisis cross. The Aris connection connecting there but we pressed Czech Republic, Chechia into many, many mistakes in this game. And the pick of the goals in this game was from Katausis. Great run and great finish to send us through to the knockout rounds. After waltzing through the group stage, we were drawn against the Super Eagles in the round of 16. It's a tough tie, but also a winnable tie. They do have some quality players in Oshimen particularly. But the draw for the round of 16 is Morocco, Chechia, South Korea, Denmark, Belgium, Tunisia, France, Mexico, Guinea, Turkey, us against Nigeria, Australia, Argentina, England, Ecuador, Japan, Norway, Chile, Colombia, Spain versus the Ivory Coast, Switzerland, Brazil, Netherlands, Uruguay, USA, Portugal, Germany, Mali, and Italy, Serbia. Who will progress to the next round? The Super Eagles were supposed to be a super test, but Aya Danis in the seventh minute placed a penalty past them as we went on to thump them 5-0 to move into the, the round of 16, not that this was a second round game, as mentioned, as Vanangidis puts us in front again. But it was just goals for fun in this game, and the Super Eagles were no match for Super Super Greece. After soaring past the Super Eagles, we were drawn in a very tough tie. We played Argentina in the following round. Chechia got France, Denmark played Belgium, Turkey got England, which is a could hopefully put England out of the tournament. Japan, Brazil, Chile, Spain, Netherlands, Serbia, and Portugal, Germany. Some big teams are going to go out in this round. Will we be one of them? We came up against players that we knew very well in Masari, but this Greek side had something special written about us in this World Cup as Palvidis found acres of space and finessed it past Musso to make it 1-0 in the 37th minute. And it was all us. It was all Greece in this game. We we came into the 71st minute needing a goal to really secure the tyre. And Shimikas went down the wing, found Palvidius, who dummied it to Devalkis. And it was 2-0. And it was looking like game over at this stage. We were looking like the better team. But Argentina had a comeback in them. And they came back with a goal from Aguilera to make it 2-1 in the 78th minute to set up squeaky bum time. But it was rounded off in the 80th minute with a great cross from Hatsikados here. As he goes into Sayatonis, and Sayatonis pulls it back to Valkis, finishes them off, and sends us through to set up a tie against France. 
In the quarterfinal, we had to come up against the overpowered Ninja Turtle and Katausis was the man to kick us off early on as he finessed it past Restes in goal who had just gone to Real Madrid from Aris and the Greek man put us in front. But Mbappe's corner was floated in and Chouameni puts the ball past Barkas who could have done better and it was all France after that. But however, we did get a goal just before halftime as Hatsikados marauds down the wing Cuts inside and Palvidis is there for a tap-in to make us go in front in the 42nd minute. France were all over us up until the 82nd minute, but we did get the goal to kill off the tie and send us through to a semi-final game against the Spanish. And it was that man, Catalsis, again. Spain had beaten us in the Nations League before. But we wasn't to be denied this time as we beat them on penalties. And the pick of the goals here from Cancelaos past Tenas puts us in the final. After an unbelievable win against Spain, we were left with playing Portugal in the World Cup final in Turkey. Can we finish a series? Can we do what Cody Rhodes couldn't do at WrestleMania and finish this story? As the boys stepped out onto the pitch, they knew we'd gone one stage further than we've ever gone before. It was history in the making against Portugal, who are one of the strongest sides on the save. Can we upset all major odds and repeat what we did in 2002 and beat Portugal in a major international final? And there was drama from a set pieces and Toy puts us in front in the final. Come on, the boys. There was more drama in the game as Palvides put Aya Danis in, who finesses it past Costa to make it 2-0. The dream is alive. I can't believe my eyes as we go 3-0 up in the World Cup final. Palvides causing problems again, but Hats is the man who comes into the route wing and finesses it past Costa. 3-0 up at half time. Let's go. What an achievement! 3-0 is the final score. We parked the bus in the second half and I can't believe it. We've done it. We've absolutely done it. We've, we've won the World Cup with Greece and Portuguese fans will be crying everywhere. They lost Euro 2002. They've now lost the World Cup final to Greece. It's an unbelievable achievement. Otto Heimhagel finishes his story by winning the Euros and the World Cup with Greece. What a series this has been. What a journey we've been on. And honestly, I think this is one of my biggest and best achievements ever in Football Manager. What a game it was as we go and do our lap of honour in front of our fans. The Greek nation is celebrating. There is going to be plenty of also out tonight it's going to be an ouzo whatever the drink is i cannot remember but what an achievement it is i can't believe we've done it what a game we had six shots on target and scored three of them portugal absolutely got fm they had better possession but this greek side doesn't know how to lose and we've done something we've done a world cup and we won by a big margin come on the boys let's go just want to end this video by saying thank you all for supporting this series. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I've wanted to give up at so many times, but we got there in the end. We achieved everything that I said we would right at the start of this series. And it becomes my first full series that I've completed over on the YouTube channel. And this will always be a special, special series in my heart. But if you want to see another save series from me, comment below and let me know what save series you want to see next. If not, I've got big, big news on the way.